package and examine the content of what they're in, they will discover that they are in a non-Christian, pagan, idolatrous cult, and no Christian has any part in it. In this video, we've tried to be objective. We have no axe to grind, either with organized Freemasonry or with individual Masons. There's absolutely no doubt that a great deal of good has been done in the name of Freemasonry. And the morals of many, if not most Masons, are of a very high order indeed. But that is unfortunately not the issue here. The real issue is that Masonry is a pagan religion that has more in common with witchcraft than Christianity. This is a time when they say that you're coming from darkness into light. Its God is not the God of the Bible. Its God is Jobulon, a composite of Jehovah, Baal, the Canaanite fertility deity, and On, or Osiris, the Egyptian sun god of phallic worship. Its means of salvation is not the cross of Christ, but a system of morality and good works to endeavor to attain to the celestial lodge. And to the Mason, Jesus Christ is not the sinless son of God, but is degraded to the position of being just a great reformer, no different than Buddha, Confucius, or Muhammad. It is here where we take issue with Freemasonry. The same Jesus who claimed to be God in human flesh also claimed to be the only way to the Father. He also said that a man cannot serve two masters. If you are a Mason, you must make a decision. You cannot be a Christian and remain in the Masonic Lodge. Either let your sins be nailed to the cross of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, or try to pay for them yourself in the system of morality and good works. There are verses in the Bible that state that we should come out from among them. That we should that darkness has no relationship with light. And also in the book of Proverbs it states that there is a way that seems right to a man, but it leads to death. And so therefore my uh, advice is to walk away from it.